Hello there, today we're going to take a look at the 5 best wireless router for gaming and streaming in the market for this year. We're going to show you our 5 best picks and we'll talk about whether or not you should buy it. We'll put the links to all of the products we mentioned in this video down in the description below. Let's get started. Number 5. Asus RT AX86U5700. Balancing versatility, performance and cost is the Asus RT AX86U. Primarily intended as a router for gaming, the device has powers that are desired by all. The RT AX86U can support dozens of devices and optimize the performance of each accordingly. The range and signal strength are strong and reliable, even from other rooms, and anyone wanting to set up mesh Wi-Fi will be able to integrate the router with ease. LAN connections are just as well catered. The router has four LAN ports and one 2.4G Ethernet port. LAN 1, the first port in the sequence, is also known as the gaming port, it automatically sets the connected device as the router's top priority, ensuring it receives the most stable and consistent internet connection. Number 4. TP-Link Archer Axe 6600. Boasting a squish body in 8 and 10 the Arachnidian TP-Link Archer Axe 6600 looks the business. Luckily it has the chops to live up to its imposing looks. The tri-band wireless is excellent, one 5 GHz band hits 4804 megabits per second while another hits 1201 GHz, and the 2.4 GHz hits 1148 megabits per second. These speeds are maintained reasonably at distance, thanks to the router's impressive range. Wired connections are plentiful, with 5 LAN, including one at 2.5 Gbps, ports to service multiple devices with rapid speeds. The TP-Link Tether app can be used to switch on the guest network, activate WPS, run speed tests, and set priority functions, streaming, messaging, gaming. Number 3. TP-Link Archer Axe 1500. Yes, it looks like it might fly off and the price is a tad eye-watering for general users, but the Nighthawk Rax 80 Axe 11000 is impossible to overlook. The wireless capabilities are fantastic, handling up to 10.8 Gbps of data via its tri-band frequencies, 1 2.4 GZ, 1.2 Gbps, and 2 5 GHz, 4.8 Gbps, channels. It throws out its signal over 12 simultaneous streams, and the range advertises 2500 SQFT of coverage. Those craving a wired connection will also be pleased by the 4 gigabit lens and one 2.4 Gbps LAN port. The one connection is also future-proof for internet service plans of 2 Gbps, thanks to link integration. Number 2. Link Sysvelop MX4200. The Linksys Velop MX4200 is a simple and capable wireless router for a family home. As a Wi-Fi 6 router, it carries the ability to handle impressive speeds across many connected devices. As a tri-band router, 1 2.4 GHz and 2 5 GHz, the MX4200 has a max throughput of 4.2 Gbps. This provides plenty of scope for home workers, box settingers and online gamers to coexist peacefully. The advertised range of the router is 3000 SQFT. This will be fine for apartments and smaller family homes, but to maintain a constant performance the MX4200 can be used as part of a mesh Wi-Fi network, a system that's quick to set up and helps to reduce signal dead zones in and around your home. The MX4200 can be purchased in single, double or triple packs. Number 1. Netgear Nighthawk C7100V. You now can get your own internet equipment even if you use telephone service from Comcast, Netgear combines cable modem, Wi-Fi and voice service in a new gateway for Comcast, if there's something the long-winded name doesn't already include, that'd be the fact that the new Nighthawk C7100V's built-in cable modem is super fast. Netgear says supporting DOCSIS 3.0 with 24xA channel bonding, 24 downstream and 8 upstream, it can deliver a broadband download speed of up to 960 megabits per second. The gateway also include a backup battery option, battery sold separately, that allows it to work for up to 8 hours of standby and up to 5 hours of talk time during power outage. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video, if you like this video and it helped you out in any way please give the video a like and hit that subscribe button, hope to see you guys in the next video till next time I'll see you later.